guys, this is Amara and it's welcome to Ambu's Magic. Day 3. Good morning. Prepare to fall in love with Italy's charm all over again today. Our destination for today is the floating city of Italy. Any guess? Yes! Venice, the city of love. It takes about six hours to drive from Rome to Venice. We decided to travel by train due to time restrictions because we only had two days left in Italy. So in the morning, we grabbed our cab to the train station. We have already purchased our train tickets. Despite taking metros before, this was my first train ride. I was thrilled because of this. There was enough space in the train for our luggage. We kept our stuff in the space and sat on our seats. We ate breakfast in the train station because we were turning late. The train journey took about 4 hours. The best way to travel between Rome and Venezia is by train. The two Italian cities are connected by a high-speed rail network which means makes the trip easy and convenient. The train from Rome to Venezia makes a pleasant journey, giving you a chance to admire different landscapes. Finally, after a four-hour ride, we arrived at our destination. Our hotel was only five minutes from the station, so we intended to walk to our room. On the route to our room, there was a bridge with steps, so we requested the assistant of a loader to transport our stuff. Because we were not exhausted, we just left our luggage in our room and began exploring the city. Venice is the magical city built on water. First up, we have the famous gondolas. These are long sleek boats that look like they belong in a fairy tale. Yay, we are on the gondolas and it is so exciting. Look around, the view is incredible. We will see colorful buildings, bridges and other gondolas passing by. Exploring this magical city on gondola was a dream come true. Venice is a city full of wonder and magic where history, culture and nature all come together in a beautiful dance on water. When you are in Venice, don't miss the chance to visit the magic of Rialto Bridge. We continued our walk to explore St. Mark's Square. St. Mark Square is a place of history and culture and we are so lucky to explore our way through it. Look how stunning the domes are. Water taxis are a thrilling way to explore Venice. Just like food, water taxis can take us to hidden gems in Venice. Venice transforms into a magical place at night. We decided to take a late night walk around Venice because we were leaving the next morning. Day 4 The next morning, we checked out of our Venice hotel and caught the train back to Rome. This is the last day us have in Italy. So we used this day to go shopping and try new foods. We attempted both street shopping and outlet shopping. While roaming in the streets for shopping, we also tasted the desserts in Italy. This was my favorite shopping experience in Italy. We customized nameplate for our flat as our wish. I was so excited to select the theme and colors. After having dinner, we went back to our room. Day 5 The day has come to return. We took the bus from Rome to the airport. As my unforgettable journey through Italy comes to a close, I can't help but feel a mix of emotions. The excitement of all the incredible experience I have had and the sadness of saying goodbye to this beautiful country. Though my Italy expedition is coming to an end, 
I know that the memories created here will last a lifetime. Italy has captured my heart and I leave with a promise to return some day to continue this love with its rich culture and timeless beauty. Thank you dear viewers for joining me on this incredible tour. I hope our adventures have inspired you to explore new horizons and embrace the magic of travel. Until we meet again, safe travels and remember the world is waiting for us to discover. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. This is Amra and I'm signing off. Bye.